All right, good evening, my friends. This is the Spike Volleyball, and someone asked for a tutorial, and I will just pretend that you know absolutely nothing. So, uh, so let's just start it out here. This is the Spike Volleyball. It's three-on-three -three volleyball sim. It is 2D scroller. You have three players versus your setter. The most important thing about your setter is his style. I prefer careful, higher and higher, or the default setter that you get, uh, arrogant, and aggressive is okay too for me, but because you want to play your wing spike a lot, so every player has a rank and that determines their uh, max skill points. And as far as ranking up skills, I always go for attack and jump, and then defense and speed. Now, there are some schools of thought that say you make your setter have max defense, max speed, and as much jump as you can afford, and get rid of the attack. You know, that's all. It's your your preference, my friends, but that's not how I roll. Your second player is a middle blocker. Again, same same stats, max attack. 155 is max for most A plus players. Uh, jump 155, and then attack and speed. He's actually got pretty good upside. Just a little short, so... And then Wing Spiker. This is an S-tier player, Young Sub. He has a higher skill cap of 585, and he's also got... Uh, some S-tier players have special attacks, or special defenses, uh, or special modes. But Young Sub is just... has insane attack and insane jump, so... Uh, keep it, there's two currencies in this game. One is volleyballs, one is called gold. So you can buy gold with volleyballs, but you cannot buy volleyballs with gold. Volleyballs must be earned, my friends. So easiest way to earn volleyballs, especially if you're starting out, is to basically complete the wing spiker story. And uh, I know it's hard, especially with the, the base characters. I mean, if you have the DX version of the game, it's a little easier because you can recruit better players, because you get 2,000 volleyballs. So, and then once you defeat the Wing Spiker story at stage 18, don't worry about unlocking stage 19 at this point. Uh, just play tournaments, my friends, play tournaments. So, you see where that is here, tournament mode. Again, you have to defeat the Wing Spiker story to get there. So, again, earning volleyballs, you win tournaments, uh, buy the DX version of the game, 2000. Each tournament win gives you about 70, plus or minus a little bit. Uh, each set win gives you a little bit also. And if you're in the story modes and you 10 0 the story mode stages, you get 22 to 26 volleyballs. So that's about it. It's basically a volleyball grind, my friend. So let's see what else you got here. So, for, first off, I use a controller, I do not use keyboard and mouse. I have a repurposed Nintendo Switch controller and uh, one thing that may help is if this is on turn if jump is on turn it off and if beginner mode is off turn it on there's no shame in learning to play with beginner mode on and what that does is it prepositions your character before you jump so you don't have to do it so you lose a little bit of flexibility when it comes to your angles, your hitting angles, but it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. But it will require you to make an adjustment later on when you turn it off, which shouldn't be too shouldn't be too bad. So, if you have volleyballs and you want to buy gold, here's where you do it. You can get 100, 110,000 for 100 balls, up to 1.2 million for a thousand balls, which is a better deal than the other version, the other lesser amounts. So. Another thing that people like to do is they like, like, like to dress their players up. Oh, one little note about this is I dress my setter differently than my other players. And that's so I can immediately know who's receiving the second ball, whether it's the setter or whether it's the middle blocker, assuming I'm playing with spiker. So that's just my little tip, my old eyes. So you can you know change your person's hairstyle, all your guys' hairstyles. <coughs> Excuse me. Some people like to, you know, Hinata it up there. You can change the uniforms. I don't own a lot of these. I think some of them look dumb. Uh, but, yeah, some of them look absolutely ridiculous. But, nevertheless, you can change shoes also. 
you know, I keep it pretty simple. And this is one thing that actually does change the gameplay a little teeny tiny bit. That is what ball you choose. I prefer the red and or blue and orange ball because it has orange streaks. Uh, I think the green and pink ball has pink streaks, I think. The red and yellow ball that comes with the game default is purple streaks, and the yellow and blue ball has yellow streaks. I have a hard time seeing that one on certain stages, so I don't like it. I prefer the orange and blue ball. So, Okay, that's pretty much that. Uh, anything else? Uh, trading modes will really help you... Um, like spike training will help you get your timing down. Let's just do a couple quickies in here. Who the hell is this guy? It's my setter, I think. So, yeah, it's my setter. So, so here you can get your timing down. You don't have the dots with your trajectory, so it may hurt. Oh, it's late. Got there. It's my setter. Yeah. So it's quick. It'll probably help with your timing. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Another useful training is serving training, my friends. This is where you can basically, if you don't want to, if you want to get your serves in, just use the jump floater. Heck, just hit A. There we go. Okay, but if you want to do, the, if you want to learn overhand serve, jump serve, that's pretty much how you do it. You basically just pick a spot on the window that you want to toss it to, and try to hit that spot every time and then use the back line of the court to kind of stop your forward progress. You don't have to worry about that if you have beginner mode on, but I do not have it on, my friends. So again, that's that. Blocking training will help also. So let's see what else. There's achievements too, I think. One of the more fun aspects of the game. <coughs> but I'm going to achieve the core, so... So your first tier, you got to complete this whole first tier to get through it. Uh, 10 spikes is easy, 5 blocks is easy, 10 jump floaters is easy. Beat level 5 by 4 points ahead, that is the wing spiker story, my friends. So that blocked me for a long ass time, don't let it block you. And then I have videos of almost all of these achievements being completed, so if you want to hit subscribe and hit the like button the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever I do all this. So. Iron Wall, 10 blocks. Some, okay, Triple Crown was one of the harder ones I had to do, I believe. Uh, beat level 18 by 18 points ahead. That's the last stage. you got to beat 10-2 or better. And then level 4 is where I'm at. I need to hit 10 more white circles and I'm done. So, that's that. So let's just play a quick... You can change your team name too if you want. I mean, it's, you can change your character name too by hitting these little pencils here. Uh, and uh, just a reminder: skill ups cost money, cost gold, and skill downs cost gold. So if you do get lucky enough to get an S tier player, they are very, very expensive to skill up and very expensive to skill back down. So choose carefully, my friends. <laughs> I would go with, if you get a wing spiker or a middle blocker, I would go with max attack and jump, and then fill in whatever defense or speed you prefer, and good luck with those. So let's just do a quick set versus myself, and maybe illustrate some gameplay. We're not going to use our special players. Oh shit, we forgot one thing. Recruiting, my friends. You can recruit players. So... You can recruit a random player, which is any one of the five positions. There are five. There's wing spiker, setter, middle blocker, one time, one position server, OS, one position blocker, OB. So normally, if you're just fishing for you know, an upgrade, a random upgrade here and there, I would recruit a player. But if you want like a specific setter trait, I would go for just recruit setter. It's a little more expensive. But you only have about a 20% chance of getting a setter when you do recruit your player. So your odds are lower. I'd spend the extra balls and recruit the setter. But I usually do recruit new player because it's cheaper and you can get more players, which is more opportunity to get better players, in my opinion. And I've been looking for a taller mid middle blocker for a long, long ass time. And I've gotten some surprise random upgrades along the way. So 
That's usually what I do. Again, it's your preference if you're looking for a specific wing, wing spiker or a middle blocker. You know, feel free. Or if you're looking for special positions because you don't have any yet, again, go with go with those. But that's just my uh, preference there. So again, let's play a quickie <coughs> match against myself. And then hopefully we can go over some gameplay points here. So I'm going to try to play this very conservatively. I'm going to pass the ball, let the setter set, and hit it high. So you just need to get used to... Uh, it's, it's just timing. Once, once you get the timing down... I got it. You'll get it. But Okay, it's conservatively bad, my friends. Again, I block in almost all the... Ro Damn, I'm so ripped it. I block in almost all the rotations, too, because... Excuse me. Oh, Yang Sub is torching us. And yes, I am sick, my friends. So. Good swing off the net. Okay, so there the middle blocker is setting, so... That's over. Come on. Get there, Yang Sub. Oh, come on. I got it. So there's a little blocker. Do a quick attack. You basically, when he's bumping the ball, you jump, and you should be right in the swinging area. I am definitely not there. Whoa, middle. I got it. Good swing from the back row. That's over. Should have swung at that one. There we go. Get fucked, young sub. Get out of here. Give me a game here. This is why I generally don't play conservatively. So I do play fairly recklessly, I think. Oh, God. Maybe because I'm just bad at it. But anyway... Oh, nice. Come on, throw it up there. Whoa, back row action there. 30 ball. Uh-oh. Oh, Young Sub trucks it. All right, here we go. Comeback time. Maybe not. <laughs> I got it. So don't get discouraged if the... If the wing spiker story beats you, some of the stages are very difficult. Especially if you have that default team, which is really not that good. Just keep at it. I mean, there's no harm in no harm in uh, repeating stages. So get there. Come on. There's no penalty for repeating stages. So. Nothing got broken there. Again, we're not going to mess around with any serves. We're not going to be jumpers. No music, though. That's weird. Touch out. No. Good kid. Ouch. Sailed that one out. This is going to be a long video, too. So hopefully you'll get some extra... Some insight about what's going on. If you like this content, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. I read almost all the comments, my friends. Get out of here. Come back win on the radar. <coughs> as long as I don't choke up the cough of a lung. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's really it. That's me playing conservative. And then once you get uh, once you get that, you start playing tournaments. You start winning tournaments. You will get a ton of volleyballs, and uh, then you can recruit more players, and hopefully you'll get S tier players. That's really the fun of the game, I think, is getting achievements, getting the surprise S tier player. Uh, you can dress your guy however you want. 
know, it's, it's, all, it's all up to you. It's like an open little sandbox for you to play with. So, again, you may like the Super Mario costume. Me, not so much. So, just... Where is that monstrosity? So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you may like your players wearing that. Me, not so much. So, all right, thanks for watching. And have a good day. Have a good night. And no one's going to watch this video. I can just tell right now. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night.